back in Death Valley. Florida State leading Clemson 10-7 at halftime. And uh, you take a look at this ball game, and Gary, I think probably if uh, there weren't for the turnover story, Clemson would be in front. Yeah. You know, I think if you'd have told me at the beginning of this game that Clemson's starting quarterback, Neilon Green, wouldn't be able to play, they'd thrown two interceptions and then fumbled for a touch, and I'd say we'd be looking at another blowout. But it just shows you that if you stick with your game plan, no matter who it is, things beginning to work. They lost Streeter on that option play, one of their most successful plays in the first half. Neilon Green came in as Streeter went out with the separated shoulder or sprained shoulder, but what they did was attack with their defense. When Florida State had the ball, they used their front seven, and they kept those great receivers off balance with bump coverage. And then when Clemson had the ball, as that one goes out of the thing, they used no matter who they had at quarterback, and they put the ball, they ran the ball, they threw the ball 14 times in the first half, and that's why they're still in this football game. They followed the game plan. Their offensive line has fought, and they really have outdueled this first defense from Florida State and in the all-important uh, kicking game and special teams the slant of this field has been pretty even Clemson hoped to win the kicking game and by our stats it has gone at least towards Clemson so far in the first half so the Tigers will work first and 20 uh, first and 10 from their own 20 to start the third quarter and the left side it's Priester got about three we take a look at our Dean Witter halftime statistics. And you see the points off turnovers down there. Florida State in a game that was dominated time-wise by Clemson. Yeah, I think that's a big one. You know, you would think with those turnovers that Florida State would be dominating it, but it didn't happen that way. Five-minute, almost a six-minute advantage for Clemson with three turnovers shows you how tough that Clemson defense was in the first half. Second down at seven. Elon Green, back to pass. Tony Horn. And Horn got it out to about the 27. Run out over there. Tay Cody knocked him out. Florida State, third quarter this year, and the last eight regular season games haven't allowed a score. That's amazing. Well, that shows you why Mickey Andrews was the college assistant coach of the year last year because halftime adjustments made by Mickey Andrews means that that team can stop people in the third quarter. Third down and three. Perhaps you would love to open up with a first down here on their opening march for the quarter, and they'll get it. Wow. He may not be fast, but he's one tough cookie. One tough cookie, a team that only gave up 30 yards, 36 yards a game rushing, one yard per carry in the first half. This offensive line really opened the holes. This time it was Bundren. Remember, this Clemson team lived with these young guys four years ago, and now Priester's running behind fifth-year seniors and guys who have a lot of experience up there. Postal, Bundren, and Roundtree. 62 yards now for Priester on 12 carries. First down just inside the 35. And it's Priester again on a counter. And if he could have kept his balance, he'd have had a big gainer. But he stumbled a bit coming out of the blocks. Sam Cowart made sure he'd got no further than the two yards he picked up. Well, you're not going to judge Raymond Priester by long, pretty Barry Sanders type <laughs> runs. He's going to pound it up in there. He's going to make tough yards. And the thing you love about him, if you're an offensive coordinator, he's going to give you the same thing in late in the fourth quarter as he does in the early in the first half. Priester will get a little breather. Austin comes in at the tailback spot on a second down and eight. Toss to Austin. And Javis Austin only got about a yard as we check in with Dean Blevins. Guys talked to both the coaches. Tommy West said, you know, he says Streeter is out with that separated shoulder. We're going to go with Nelon as long as he can go. And, to, and if he gets into a position where he might re-injure himself, he has to go with the rookie we talked about. He also said that uh, turnovers, obviously the difference, as you told the uh, audience a few minutes ago. Bobby Bowden jumped all over his offensive line during halftime. He said, come on, offense, what are you doing? You want the defense to win this game all by themselves? Wake up. Well, he's got a younger group in there on that offensive front that he's had in some time. Third down and six here for Clemson. High snap. That was almost a disaster again, and 
because of that, the timing of the whole play thrown off, and Green's high intended for Justin Watts. That one looked remarkably close to the snap that went over Streeter's head earlier that uh, caused a touchdown. It did, and they're very fortunate to be able to come up with this one. Green, if he was a, lined up a half a foot farther back, would have never gotten that ball because it was at an angle over his head. And the Florida State defense, as Bobby Bowden said, might have to win this game. Warwick back, punt return formation. They've got 10 guys up. Let's see if they try to put some heat on the punter. Oh, they back away, and Richardson hit another beauty. Warwick, great catch over his shoulder at the seven. And here he comes the other way, and he fumbled. Clemson's got it. Too much on that punt return. Well, you wonder why Dee Feaster's not back there. He had the big play a year ago against these guys. Peter Warwick shows he's not Warwick done in this one because he takes it up inside, actually has a pretty nice run, but then right at the end, it's stripped out, the ball becomes loose, and a huge play by the special teams. Mond Wilson is the guy who caused the fumble, and Clemson is in perfect position to put some points on the board. That was Lamont Hall, the tight end on special teams, who covered it. And a golden opportunity for Clemson now, offensively at the 28-yard line of Florida State. Special teams can make a difference. Green, back to throw. Wanted to go deep, comes back to Horn, and Horn down the sideline. Tony Horn, a spin. Touchdown! A sideline circus show for Tony Horn. 28 yards, touchdown Clemson. Are you sure these orange helmets are Clemson or is this Florida? Best cover guy on the team this time. This is the tackle. Troy Saunders misses the tackle in the open. And Tony Horn makes a ballet type run down the sideline to take it into the end zone. You are watching some shocking play from Clemson. Matt Padgett in for the point after. He's got it. Clemson back in front. Tony Horn takes it to the end zone. It's the Tigers by four. Thanks for the truck, Dad. What'd you do? Not much. Where'd you go? Kurtz. You still talking about moving that old barn? Nope. The best long-term quality of any full-size pickup belongs to Chevy. Had a scratch? <sighs> nope. Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. You gotta have fire. Slapping, lapping, fancy flames, flicking chicken from every side. Until marinated bird and garlic and lime has turned from good into sublime. Oh, what is chilies thus created? Why, it's margarita grilled chicken, consummated. Served horizontally, grill marks up on a tostada with a lot of what your mouth waters for. That rib stick and margarita grilled chicken. Cause chilies grills like no place else. There comes a time when you realize you've come about as far as you can on your own. And if you want your investments to go further, you're going to need someone with the expertise and the resources to help you go the distance. It's not an admission of failure. It's an admission of success. It's an acknowledgement of what you've got at stake here. That moment of truth when you say to yourself, okay, no more fun and games. Smith Barney, they make money the old-fashioned way. They earn it. ABC Premier Tuesday begins with the first new Drew of the season. But be warned, this all-new Drew is an all-nude Drew. ABC Premier Tuesday. Rick Stock still talking to the man of the hour right now, Tony Horn, who just took it from Milan Green on a quick out and quickly went 28 yards for a touchdown. When you make something happen like this, when you get the ball and you're a wide receiver, somebody has to miss some tackles. Three missed tackles on this play. It's a one-yard pass. First, Troy Saunders misses. 
Then Dexter Jackson comes up, misses. Then Samari roll number two misses. Then Dexter Jackson misses right there. And Tony Horn says, you know, this is not bad playing against these guys. And this is I what led. nine catches last year, and a big fumble on the punt return turned the game around, maybe, for Clemson. That's what led to it. Lamont Hall's fumble recovery one play later, a 28-yard touchdown pass to that man, and it's 14-10. You know, Brad, when Tony Hort had nine catches against Florida State last year, you might say that's in a losing cause. They had to throw the ball. Today, it's part of the regular offense. Jermaine Stringer at the nine. Up to the middle of the field, buried under at the 27. And it was Harold Means on the special teams who made the stop. So now for the second time today, Florida State has to play from behind. Trailing 14 to 10. Remember, this team, as Gary mentioned earlier, has only lost one conference game ever in the ACC. That to Virginia. Bobby Bowden's not worried about win number 200 in his Florida State career. He's worried about getting out of Death Valley with his life in a victory. <laughs> Pearson, the big tight end, has not caught a pass in this game. He's the leading receiver. I'd be surprised if they don't start going to the tight end. Timeout. Too much noise, too much confusion. They're loving it in Death Valley. As you well know, I... Interesting trucks on the road. By Budweiser, Beachwood Age for a crisp, clean, classic taste. The Document Company, Xerox. And by Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Really good place to be for college football. Clemson, South Carolina right now. They lead fifth-ranked Florida State 14-10. Long way to go. 11-41 left third quarter. Three wide outs for Busby. There's his numbers on the day from the shotgun. Looked like maybe Clemson was offside. Busby throws incomplete, intended for Lavernius Coles, but it looked like Clemson jumped offside. Unless they were drawn off. Flag down. Brad, you know, sometimes when you don't mention guys' names, they're doing a great job as we look at this penalty. Michael Allen, number 10, the bottom of your screen here, is going to drop into zone. But both Key and Damon Ward have not been mentioned a lot as corners. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Because <laughs> they're back there doing their job. This time he comes up and slaps his ball at the last second away from Coles. And all day he's been in there. He's a very fast player. He's very new to it. He's been playing a lot of tailback before. And uh, even though he's had a little bit of a tender ham this year, they say he's a very dependable quarterback, just lacks experience at it. 3-5 there for Florida State. It was Lorenzo Bromel offside. And it's first and five. As the penalties today, in the fourth against Clemson on the afternoon. Busby to throw, going deep sideline, and it's caught. Inside the 30, and it's Warwick. He made a great adjustment. It was good coverage back there by Antoine Edwards, or at least looked like it. Well, you, you can't cover any better than Damon Ward that then did the outside corner. But Peter Warwick is acrobatic. He goes up and gets this ball. He has a 37-inch vertical, a Michael Jordan-type vertical, and he just goes up over Ward on a ball that, again, was slightly under throw. And then he comes back and grabs a face mask. But that was just wonderful. Peter Warwick making up for his fumbled punt return earlier in this third quarter. You saw Ward get the hand of the face mask and so they walk it off further downfield out of the 24 and for Warwick a career high day already 101 yards on four catches at 25 a pop that'll move the sticks in a hurry yeah, you're right at the Clemson 24 yard line Busby lays it out sideline to work again. He goes out of bounds after about nine more. So Warwick, five catches on the day. Amazing when you think about Peter Warwick 
being such a big time player, remember that it, he was from the same class as Randy Moss. As Florida State is really going to go a quick huddle here and pick up the first down on a quarterback sneak. Straight ahead for Busby. First down as Gary set. And they move it inside the 15 yard line of Clemson. Ellen Pyle just inside the 14. And again, they go without the huddle. This is where the fast break offense really gets a defense down. When you get a big play, people start to look at each other, and that's when you really put the, the fast break. It's like basketball. You get the press going, you get a couple turnovers, the press seems like there's eight guys out there. <laughs> Reggie Herring, the defensive coordinator, trying to urge his troops on. They're backed up to their own 14-yard line. Feaster in motion out of the backfield. Busby to the end zone. It's knocked down. Raheem Abdullah got a hand in the way. He's 6'6", 230, and he went airborne and knocked that one away. Busby misread that. He's bump and run at the look. Abdullah goes out, searches out the wide guy, makes the play. Ball again was going to be thrown to Peter Warwick on the slant. Now Florida State will go into a huddle. And the other thing Reggie Herring was telling us yesterday, says tactically it doesn't bother us that much because we're not a team that huddles on defense. And you can see yep. Clemson stayed out there. They never did get in a huddle. And now they watch Florida State come up to a second and 10 at the 14. Seminoles trail by four. Draw play on the shotgun. And it's Feaster, and he nailed at the 10. Oh, what a hit. Marco Fox is having a great football game. He had the big hit on E.G. Green earlier to save a first down. He is the weak side supporter. Reggie Herring told us that he is the best tackler in the secondary. He likes him to stop away from the tight end because he can run up and fill those lanes. And he showed exactly why he plays free safety. A extremely physical football player is the scouting report on Fox. And Florida State inside Clemson's 20 today has only a field goal to show for their efforts. Here's a third down and a long five. Busby. Complete. I don't think it's a first down, though. No, I don't think so either. It's going to be a yard short. Damian Harrow made the catch, but it was good defense again by the Tigers to track him down. And if they spot this outside the five, it's not a first down. Michael Allen again in coverage, pressing all over the field. A good stop to the outside. And I'm not surprised Florida State is going to try to get a field goal and make this a field goal win for them should their defense hold on. on but Brad, as you said, a big Get stop again by the Clemson all defense. Janikowski now, he's going to do all the field goal kicking. It might be for the rest of the year. Remember, Gramatica <laughs> missed one earlier. Yeah. So here's the big leg, the true freshman. Got a 22-yarder. And that quiets the crowd momentarily. But what a great stand by the Clemson defense. After giving up the big play to Warwick, they hold Bobby Bowden Seminoles to a field goal. 9.04 remaining in the third quarter. Janikowski's field goal has cut it to 14-13. Clemson in front. Home Depot brings us our chalk talk. Let's take a look at this week's Home Depot Chalk Talk. Bobby Bob, part of that. How about 272 wins career, as we said, at Florida State. Looking for number 200 today. And, of course, the whole family, our coaches, Terry and Tommy and Jeff, and they all had something to say to the old man today. Good luck on your 200th attempt. I just wish I was a little closer to you. Hey, old man. Good luck today going after victory number 200. I know it's going to be a tough game, but if you have any points to spare, I could use some tonight against LSU. Keep on having fun. I love you. I wish Dad a lot of luck getting that 200th win. I hope he goes for 300. Bobby probably agree with that, I think. He'd take it. Like Joe Paterno, having too much fun doing what he's doing to ever give it up, it seems. And what a coach and uh, what a program that uh, he's put together over the last 20 years. And everybody talks about Michigan having the toughest schedule in the NCAA this <laughs> year, but if you look at this Florida State schedule, I mean, come on, at USC, you got to play Miami and Florida every year, you got to go to Clemson, North Carolina, that's a tussle. Janikowski fueled by his first uh, field goal of the day, knocks this one 
all the way out of the back of the end zone. I mean, you look at who they have to play year in and year out. I mean, you're always going to get Miami, and you're always going to get Florida. So your breather is USC. <laughs> <laughs> they like to play the best, and that's how Bobby built this program. And, you know, sneak-ups in this thing is NC State. Everybody thought, you know, that was a team. Virginia at Virginia. Remember, right. that's a game that they had lost before. The ACC has been lifted in quality by Florida State's play, and Tommy West told us yesterday, absolutely, you have to play better. You're going to get killed. From the 20 now, Clemson with a one-point lead, just under nine to go third quarter. Bush thinking about a blitz. On the option, it's Priester. He needed a block out of the corner and didn't get it. He still got about four, though. They'll bring up second down and six. Clemson schedule as they are 2-0 for the first time since 88, remember. And their schedule looks like this. Georgia Tech coming up next Saturday night in Atlanta. But you know, if you also look at the schedule, one thing sticks out. Florida State at home. North Carolina at home and Virginia at home. Maybe their three biggest games all at home here in Death Valley. Maybe their best chance to put together the season that they want. As you look down on the field, and I think it's Roland Seymour, is down with cramps. It is very hot, and even though you run a lot of players on the field at the same time, it's still a very intense game, and you're going to have to play a lot of guys. <laughs> Hope, Ouch. hope he didn't touch the wrong thing. In a bad on, spot there. He's on national television. <laughs> it was about 93 when we were on our way over to the stadium today. Tomorrow, uh, next week, I should say, the stadium we'll head to is in Chapel Hill. That's where Dean and Gary and I'll be for another big ACC game, Virginia, North Carolina. The other regional games you'll see. And then it's Notre Dame and number nine, Michigan. And be sure to check the listings for the game in your area or what you can get on pay-per-view. Roland Seymour, one of the 33 different freshmen that saw action last week against Maryland. Either true freshmen or redshirt freshmen, whatever you want to say, 33 of them played. They had nine guys that were freshmen or redshirt freshmen playing defense at one point late in that game against Maryland, and uh, that's yeah. experience that you... <laughs> You just love to have. Yeah, because they, they were, you know, they were so young, they were looking for the yellow school bus after the game to run to. <laughs> well, Eleven players on this Clemson team from the talent-rich state of Florida. Three players from Florida State are from South Carolina. And now it's Clemson second down at a long five after Seymour went off injured. Florida in a blitz look this time. the first man through on the option. And Terry Witherspoon got about two. And Cowart made another tackle. Brad, running the fullback against Florida State is akin to throwing the ball long against some teams. You must keep those linebackers at home. They run so fast, sideline to sideline, that every once in a while, you gotta just sacrifice a play and say, we're gonna take one or two yards, and you gotta make sure you stay home first and respect that guy before you start chasing down our backs. Elon Green playing on a bad foot. Third down and two. Took over for Brandon Streeter, who started the game for Clemson because of Green's injury. Takes the toss, and down he goes. Wadsworth all over it. Man, he's quick. Uh, I watched a lot of football, and I thought Peter Bull Bullware last year couldn't dominate a game more than he does. But this time, watch this man. Remember again, he's close to 280 pounds. Tulsi comes out and cannot handle him. He gets there too quick. Neilon Green does not have the great quicks, but I don't think if he had three good legs, he would have got away from him this time. Another great play by the defensive end. Punt coming up for Clemson. They just got it away. Fair catch. Feaster will field it at the 41-yard line. You make a mistake at Florida State. And they got another guy to take your space. Warren makes a mistake. Feaster starts returning punts. Chevy Blazer with the exclusive driver control system. A little security in an insecure world.
Life isn't just measured in days or years. It's measured in doorways and walkways, or a favorite sweater long outgrown. At State Farm, we give our policyholders a yardstick of their own. It's called the Family Insurance Checkup. It helps them measure their own needs and pick the coverage that's right for them. So call your agent for a checkup. Because insurance, like other things in life, is something you never want to outgrow. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Is that a new big king? No, it's a bag, coach. No, in the bag, son. Yes, sir, it is. Well, what's a smart kid like you doing sitting on the bench? Get in there and play quarterback. Really? <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. The new Big King from Burger King, flame broiled with 75% more beef. It's like a Big Mac, except it's bigger and tastes better. And right now, you can get one for just 99 cents. Coach said I could play halfback. Danielson and Dean Blevins, Brad Nessler back with you in Death Valley. Clemson leading at home over Florida State, 14-13, midway point of the third quarter. And good field position now for the Seminoles. Total yardage. We told you it was going to be a defensive day. Look at that. Incredible defense. On both sides. Gooch in at the tailback spot right now. Busby on first down wants to throw. Wants to go deep, and now comes back to the near side. Warwick again, and again a first down out to the 11-yard 11 11-yard uh, 11 pickup, and he got it inside the midfield stripe. First down, down at the 47. So uh, Thad Busby trying to move. Yeah, Brad. State down I got a quiz for you though. In 13 games, if you're the FSU quarterback, how many games do you have to win to be accepted? Uh, you got to win all of them. Yeah, you got to win 13. <laughs> you got to win more than 12. 11 and one's not good enough last year. <laughs> Two and zero this year, and trying to bring his team from behind now. With 6:45 left in the third. On first down, play action, deep ball for Warwick. He got it, oh, and he'll score. Touchdown. Oh my. How many acrobatic catches can one guy make in a day? 48 yards for the score. I, I think you ought to try some more. <laughs> because that's the third one that he's had a chance to do this. And on third time, he's done it. Perfect covered by David Evans. Watch this. He turns around. No interference. And it worked. Just goes over the top of him. The ball was put in a spot by Thad Busby where Warwick can make the play. And Warwick did. And now let's see if Florida State's going to go for two. Busby stays in. Oh, Peter Warwick says, come on, I want to take my helmet off. You know, I couldn't do it on the field. <laughs> I'm tired. 19 to 14, a five-point difference. Bobby Biden would like to make it a touchdown difference. Let's see. Two-point conversion attempt. Coles, Green, and Warwick, the wide receivers. Busby calls timeout. That's the second one Florida State has used. You know why that happened that time, Brad? The guards lined up on the wrong side. How often does that happen? The guards cause a timeout. <laughs> they might have a changing of the guards if it happens again. <laughs> Busby will go over and talk things over with 632 left, a two-point conversion coming up. Busby again sees bump and run to the outside. David Evans has great coverage. Peter Warwick is not open, but when you throw the ball up and you've got great 37-inch vertical jumping on the outside, Warwick goes up, makes the catch. And Brad, can you imagine again, had Randy Moss stayed here with wow. Florida State, what those two guys bracketed would have looked like. Yep. Clemson this time, playing man-to-man -man free coverage. Evans knows he's got help, but he also knows if the ball's thrown to the outside, I'm only five foot eight inches tall, and that guy can jump higher than me. Warwick continues to just add to a career day. 169 yards. And Florida State's down to one timeout, having used one earlier, remember, in this quarter. And now this one before the two-point conversion attempt. Yeah, and it's not going to be a factor unless towards the end of the game they need those babies. Uh -huh. They want to get up seven, so if they get this two-point conversion, maybe it's worth it. Otherwise, it's not going to look so hot. 
Same set of receivers that we told you about, and the tight end is... There's off. Warwick right there. Busby, and he got it in there to Coles. Good for two. Penalty markers down. Yeah, I think Damon Ward that time had great coverage for interference, and he still stuck it in there. They're going to decline it. Laverne is Coles on the quick slant. Busby laid it in. And it's a seven-point Florida State lead. Pass interference. On the defense, decline. The points are good. You see Ward at the top of the screen matched up on Coles, man to man. Good coverage. He reads it, does as well as he can, but there's the interference. He's got his jersey, he's got his hands all over him. Now look how good a throw this is. Right on the bottom of the seven. Can't throw it any better than that. Coles with great concentration. One of the toughest passes to throw is a quick slant from shotgun, especially when you have Anthony Simmons coming right in your face as you let it go. Busby steps right into it and throws a strike. Fastball right in the strike zone. And a two-point conversion is given Florida State. A touchdown lead, 21 to 14. With six minutes and 32 seconds remaining. A two-play drive, 59 yards. Of course, the majority of that drive was Warwick on a, another acrobatic catch for the touchdown. Busby with a smile, afforded a smile now with a seven-point advantage for the first time today. I don't think it feels so far like Clemson feels like it's slipping away, but it's getting to that point where the athletes are starting to make the plays, and as the kids slide down the field, you <laughs> hope that Clemson doesn't feel it sliding and slipping away. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Clemson on September 19th has never lost. If this would be leap year, yeah. this would be a shoe-in. That's right. You don't even have to play. They're not playing badly on the 20th either. Seven and two, trying to make it eight and two, and it would be a huge, huge win and would really shake up the ACC in the country if Clemson could come from behind now and win this. And whoops, he stepped out, didn't he? They're going to say touchback. Thought he stepped out of the end zone. It's the ball in college football, not the foot. The ball was behind the line. He was very fortunate that time. Austin was. But remember, it's the ball. Tony Horn is saying, stay, stay put, stay, stay put, stay, stay put. Whoops. Now the foot pro, you're out. But that ball is behind the line, and that's the way it's called. So they'll bring it out to the 20. Let's check in with Dino. All right, great call up there, Gary. I love that. Put <laughs> to the point. You know, Tommy West points to Florida State as the program where he wants to get this Clemson program. But he knows he doesn't have the ready-made high school All-Americans like Florida State. And he believes his coaches must help the kids grow into players. West ingrains the slogan cat to his players. C stands for conditioning. The A stands for attitude. And the T stands for toughness. And, you know, each year he's signing more and more players that he goes head-to-head -head with Florida State, but he's not quite there yet, guys. Well, this group of cats is only seven down from the 20. Tigers trail and knocked back for a loss is Raymond Priester. And it's Jerry Johnson this time from his defensive tackle spot. Jerry Johnson is a guy who came to Florida State as a big nose tackle, weighed almost 300 pounds. But he got on the weights this year, his bench press is up to 500 pound bench press, and he dropped down to 280 pounds, and he's become to be an impact player inside. You either get ready to play and compete at Florida State, or you'll watch from the sideline. Well, they just bench press one of those guards right into the backfield and dropped yeah. Priester for a three yard loss. Elon Green having a look. Three wide out offense. Looks like he's changing things up at the line. He'll give it off to Priester. Broke one tackle and got back near the original line of scrimmage, but it's Johnson on the bottom of the pile again. Priester, you know you, tough sledding today. You bet, Brad. And you know, you try to get there quick, but this time, Tony Bryant, number 40, gets there so quick that he beats the guard. He's in the backfield before the guard can pull and get through the hole. That's the speed of Florida State getting back there and making those plays happen in the backfield. And now Elon Green on a third and 10 will work from the shotgun. 
And I think the Clemson coaching staff took a timeout from the sideline. Got the linesman's attention and a timeout called. You know, when they had the wrong personnel out there, I think they had a play called with maybe four wide receivers, and they only had three of them out there. Monday night football, don't forget, Cordell Stewart and the Pittsburgh Steelers will be in Jacksonville against the Jaguars. The AFC Central Division matchup. Alex Frank, Dan, and Lynn will be there to bring you all the action on Monday night football. As Clemson now has used one of its timeouts. And a third down and a long 10. That football tucked inside the 20 yard line. Tommy West might be upset with the lack of substitution and people being on uh, awake on the sideline, but no one on this staff can be upset with the play of Clemson today. They have been in position, they have been there, they just have outstanding athletes from Florida State also making some plays at the same time. They have been ready to play, they've been in assignment perfect, and they've played tough all game. Four wideouts now for Green. Four-man rush for Florida State. Green loads to Horn. First down, Clemson to Tony Horn. Out to the 37-yard line. As they move the sticks, we check in with John Saunders. John. Brad, Washington is trying to march back at home against Nebraska. This touchdown from Marquez Tuiasasopo to Mike Reed. Jerome Pathan with a Pathon, rather, with a 53-yard reception set this up. He has 195 yards in receiving. Back to you. Wow, that Pathan kid is special. Yeah. Pathan is, is maybe more acrobatic than Warwick, if you can believe that. 17-yard pickup on the last one in the first down. 11 men at the line of scrimmage from Florida State. Option, Priester. Boy, that speed. Tony Bryant this time, the other defensive end, and he's cramping up a little bit after running down Priester. Well, that, that time, that was... Tony Bryant at the end, he's an option play there. The first guy, this is the quarterback's fault. He's supposed to get tackled on the play right there from Tony Bryant. Watch, Bryant forces the pitch, and then he runs down the field. I think if Nelon had his quick feet right there, there there's no way that Bryant can make that play. I was just going to say, with Nelon in there, the option is really not an option today. He's not going to carry the football right. much, and Florida State probably knows that. We got, we got guys dropping all over the field down there, Dino. Yeah, you know, Gary, you guys bring up a good point there. I'm surprised that Florida State hasn't made him turn the ball up because, you know, defenses can force a quarterback to carry the football, and uh, I think you'll probably see that because every series that Nelon Green comes off, that ankle is worse and worse and worse. Yeah, you're right, and what I think, Dean, what may be scary for Clemson is they got a big game next week against George Tech. That's right, that's right, but they would like to nurse him through this game if possible because obviously he gives them such a better chance to win than bringing in a true rookie. And they got a new center in there, so they're having a little center uh, quarterback exchange well, like bringing in a relief pitcher. Yeah, I, I think Jason Gamble might be down on the other side of Boy, the field. Boy, he is, and Ed Altman is uh, the guy that's getting some snaps right now to Nelon. That is Gamble right there. And Jason obviously in a lot of pain. And we can't quite tell. That might be cramps too and now, we, we could hope that yeah, I mean, this, you don't want to wish those on anybody yeah, but that's right but of the of the alternative in that area it's a knee or cramps and you want to choose cramps remember as we told you well into the 90s at kickoff today there's the guy that has given Florida State the lead with an unbelievable receiving performance and we still got a long ways to go Warwick with a touchdown catch and then the two-point conversion has put Florida State up by seven with 414 left as they help Jason Gamble off. Yeah, he had a brace on his left knee. You could see outside of his pants, so that means that went on after the game started. He's got a neat brace under his pad on his right knee, and he's limping on the right side. He start the whirlpool. <laughs> That's too many braces. That's too many braces. We're not building a church here. We don't need a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Second down and a long eight coming up now. If I'm Florida State, I line up someone right over the new center. There's a steeple. You need a lot of braces for that. There you go. And there is someone lined up right over the center. That's what you got to do. Right now, Ed Altman just wants to get it in Elon Green's hands and then try to hit somebody. And he did, and it's play action. And Elon going long. Just overshot his intended receiver, Tony Horn. 
And the folks here in Death Valley wanted a pass interference call on Samari Roll and didn't get it. Samari Roll did a good job that time of staying with Horn, who might not be 4-3, but he's in his own right has shown that he can be acrobatic when it is. New center, put Corey Simon right on him. Comes in, Altman does a nice job of switching off one guy, picking up Lamont Green, and Neon Green found Green on the other side. And now it's third down to 10. And they'll work from the shotgun, and this will be Altman's first shotgun snap. So watch this one. And the shovel pass almost intercepted. That's a dead ball right there. Incomplete pass. You can pick it up and run all day, but it's an incomplete pass. It still was the penetration inside. I think it might have hit Glenn Roundtree right in the back that time. Daryl Bush says, come on, I thought I had another big play. Yeah, he went all the way to the band, the Florida State band in the far corner, thinking he had a touchdown. Great pressure inside that time. The ball hits it. That time it was Jerry Johnson again coming off the line of scrimmage in his tackle position, making that play blow up before it gets started. And as soon as that one hits the ground, it's a dead ball. So it's fourth down and a punting situation again. Kevin Laird's had some big kicks today. He'd like to nail one here, I'm sure. Yeah, I tell you, this might be a time when you might reverse the fumble Ruski play that uh, Florida State pulled off. So the Ruski. Well, he hit it a mile in the air again. Warwick's can't thunder it, though. Look out for him from the 15. Warwick. Taken down at the 25, a 10-yard return of a 47-yard punt. <laughs> you can tell those guys trying to come from behind and strip that ball. Yep. They did it once, and it helped them to a touchdown, a play later. Florida State on the field position today. This time they'll start from the 26. Thad Busby who threw a perfect strike to Peter Warwick. The last time they had the ball, now they're playing with a touchdown lead. As Gary said, if you're punching, you need Maybe a big play by the defense, or this thing might start slipping on him a little bit. Play fake, Busby rolls, watch the throw. And he does. Is he inbounds or out? Inbounds at the 35-yard line, close to a first down. Khalid Abdullah that time, the fullback, just kind of went downfield. Saw Busby in trouble on the bootleg play and just found an opening. And Busby knows, hey, I'm not going to make a living running the ball. I'm just going to keep my eyes downfield and made a play out of nothing that time. Got almost nine. Second and short. Reggie Aaron won hard work and defensive coordinator today. That short yardage, they don't get it. Gooch drops actually for a loss, it looks like. Well, Bobby Bowden made the statement that Florida and Steve Spurrier taught me something last year. You can win the national championship without running the ball, but I don't know. You can see what happens today. Third down conversions 0 for 7. I think Florida State is going to have to run the ball better than this to get into that national championship hunt again. Right now, the closest thing they have to a running play is throwing a little pass over the middle of the tailback who sneaks through. They haven't done that much today. Clemson's defended it well. Third down, a long one. Busby. That one is intercepted. And it's Ward off the deflection. Tipped by Edwards, picked by Ward, and Clemson does get a big play from its defense. Antoine Edwards was just sitting there low. Busby again thought it was man-to-man -man coverage, thought he had an easy throw. Edwards ran out underneath it, and Ward says, finally, <laughs> something good happens to me. I've had good coverage, and finally it lands up in my lap. I've been so sick of looking at number nine, I like looking at the name on the football yeah, instead. That's right. I tell you, this Clemson defense has pitched basically a perfect game. Yep. When Florida State has made plays, they've just out-jumped them. Now it's up to the Clemson offense, though, to get something in gear from the 44 Florida State. Toss, Priester. He had to break a tackle just to barely get back to a one-yard loss. That's the speed and the penetration again. 
of the Florida State defense as we check in with Dean Blevins. Well, they're dropping like flies down here. Jason Gamble, the center, has gone back out. He has a knee problem. He worked around for a couple of minutes, and he was questionable. Then the crowd roared. He goes back huh. in. We'll see how long he can stay. Also, Dee Feaster is gone to the locker room. He has a rip problem. We'll find out after x-rays if he can, can return for Florida State. All right, Dino, second down and 11 as Priester lost a yard on that last play. And they go back to the four wide out look. And they'll work from the shotgun. Priester this time flanking Neilan Green in the gun. Everybody up close for Florida State. Here they come. Green, deep sideline for Watts. And he made a catch. <laughs> I'll tell you, you can't, there's nothing you can say. Neilan Green knows he's got man-to-man -man coverage out there. Samari Wool says, I got you, man. I got you. I'm all over you. He's not going to throw it. What? How could he throw that ball right there? Did he and say it, what or did he say Watts? Wh Watts? <laughs> what? Now, remember, in college ball, you can push the man out of bounds, but Watts got his right foot down before he was pushed out of bounds. That was an excellent call. What a catch. And now it is Clemson in the Florida State. Red zone at the 19-yard line from the gun over the middle. Not a nice catch. Nope, they're going to say incomplete. I thought he caught it. It was Brian Wofford that time. Incomplete. You know, Neilan Green is, is so impressive in this game. Remember, this is a guy that barely threw the ball for three seasons here for Clemson. Steve Edmondser comes in as the new coordinator says, I got to find somebody to throw the ball because Tommy West hired me to be more balanced. And look at the way he's throwing the ball today. FSU's red zone defense haven't allowed a touchdown yet. Becky Andrews is hoping that stat stays alive. Second and ten. The ball just outside the Florida State 18-yard line. 21 14 Seminoles lead. Green going to the end zone for Horn. He says he was pushed in route and no flag as he got tangled up with Shevin Smith back there in the secondary. Remember, Shevin Smith is playing because Sean Key, her starter, is not suspended. Shevin Smith is way up at the top of the screen. He chucks him before the ball is thrown. In the pro game, you can only do that five yards near the line of scrimmage. In college, you can chuck him anywhere as long as the ball's not in the air. A great play. Well, he chucked him right back to the 18-yard line, where it's third and 10. And there's what Clemson has done in the red zone this year, but that was a far cry difference that was against North Carolina State and they couldn't get into the end zone today they're looking to to try to tie it Horn almost picked off by Dexter Jackson they're hundred percent like the statistics said but only one of them was a touchdown three field goals yeah. you need more touchdowns for every time you get inside the 20 I think one touchdown for every five times you get inside the 20 which is what it is now is not good enough this one's not quite automatic either. This is about a 36-yard attempt by Matt Padgett, who hit the game winner against North Carolina State in the final 19 seconds last week. It's going to be a 36-yard field goal attempt to try to cut into Florida State's lead. Padgett, and he's got it. 126 left in the third quarter. And Clemson gets something out of that interception by Damon Ward. It turns into a 36-yard field goal for Matt Padgett. 21-17 Florida State in this one, and don't forget a lot of college football action continuing next week. We'll start things off. Ohio State, Missouri, Texas, and Rice will be in Chapel Hill against the top five North Carolina team against Virginia, and then it's Notre Dame against Michigan as Michigan rolled big on Baylor today. And the ninth-ranked Wolverines, that's a 3.30 game. Check the local listings for the game in your area or what you can pick up on pay-per-view. Bobby Bowden up by four with 125 left third quarter. Well, Clemson needed that, Gary. Something. They did, and you, and you got to give Florida State good credit there also. They hung in there. They played solid defense. Big play to the sideline by Watts, but the defense stiffened enough 
to just hold them to a field goal. This may be the big drive of the game right here. Still a quarter to go, but an all-important drive coming up for both teams. Florida State to reestablish itself as the team to catch. And Clemson would love another stop. Tommy West looking on as David Richardson set to kick it away. Remains Stringer and Lavernius Coles back deep this time. They hit a line drive picked up at the 10 by Stringer. That's back against the grain. Trying to work his way outside and finally did. Nice return by Stringer. That's just a killer. You're trying to hold that ball to the, between the 20 and 25 yard line. You try a pooch kick, one bounce, and can't get coverage, and that ball's out to the 44. And Stringer takes it, 434, out to the 44-yard line. First down there. You can see Clemson, they don't huddle. They don't huddle whether, no matter how, whether Florida State huddles or not. They're never in a huddle, so right. they don't care. They're spread all over the field. Yep. Travis Miner in the Florida State backfield now. Remember, as Dean said, Feaster are checking his ribs in the locker room. And Gooch has not been effective today. Busby on first down, getting some pressure. Runs up out of the pocket, evades evade the tackler, and somehow he got around Raheem Abdullah and got out of bounds with his life. That was pretty fancy footwork by number 12. I, I, I would say Busby is a pretty big guy, 220 pounds, young offensive line. Let's see if there's a lot of pressure. The pressure is pushed around Busby this time. No one up and down field, and he gets through Abdullah that time, and Busby shows that that's a good enough play. Five yards on a scramble is a very successful play. That'll force Clemson to bring some pressure, and here it comes. Right here, it's going to come from the corner. They've got eight up close. And it's second and five. Here they come. Here they come as Gary said. Oh, that's Busby intentional grounding. Threw it away. That's intentional grounding. No flags. There's no one even near that. Now you watch. The officials will talk and the flag will come out. There it goes. You call that one, Gary. <laughs> and that's the proper way to do it. The linesman will talk to the referee. They'll confer. They'll say there's no one in the area. Was the quarterback out? You see, when this ball is thrown, he's got it. And the ball will go out there, and there's nobody out there. Nobody in that area. No FSU. <laughs> that means there's a penalty. Passer was being pressured. There was no eligible receiver in the area. I like the way you said it, but we got two explanations. Yeah, well, no FSU. <laughs> Shorthand, you know. Less than a minute and left. And in the could, third. You could just see Reggie Herring thinking like we were. Can't put pressure on him with four guys. Let's bring the house. Let's attack the whole game. If we're going down, we're going down, going after these guys. Remember, this is his alma mater. He's coaching against ex-Florida State linebacker. He looks like he's ready to play today. Third and long. They'll go zone now. Busby. Half roll. Now sets and goes deep middle. Got a man. It's Warren, and he dropped it. That's the easiest catch of the day, and he didn't hold it. Remember what Reggie Herring said. We need some home human error from Florida State to win this game. A double move to the outside. Stop, look back, and go. Fox comes across, but this should have been caught oh. all the way. Human error. There's nothing you can do about it. Bobby Bodden said about Warwick. Sometimes he just lacks concentration for a second. He dropped a key pass last week, even though it was a route over Maryland, right. and he didn't play much the remainder of that game because of that drop. He just dropped one wide open. Mark Rick told me also he makes the big plays, but not the easy ones. Florida State's got a punt. They've got a good one. Tony Horn waits on it at the 15. Broke one tackle. Tony Horn. Tony Horn to the 30. Nice return. Again, let's just beat you into this thing. Why this game is close. Clemson underlined and Tommy West underlined all week. If we don't at least tie in the special teams, we can kiss this game goodbye. And right now, Clemson is fighting tooth and nail to stay even in the passing game, in the, in the special teams game, and they are. Clemson comes out to the 30.
And a first down. A toss yep. to Priester. And Priester takes some people with him for about five. Dean, it's getting intense down there. Yeah, it really has been. You might look for number seven. You know, one of the best receivers in the game is Tony Horn for Clemson. Coach Stockstill, with his eyes wide open, was working with him on the sideline about saying, you can get a post route that'll give us a touchdown. He says, give him a good flag move, and then you can cut it back in for a post route. Gary, maybe you can show us that on the old telestrator. Oh, yeah, what do you I say? Do that. huh? That's an easy one. All right. Just kind of bend to the outside and run towards those goal posts. We're going to have to wait for the fourth quarter for all of that. <laughs> We've played three in Death Valley. Everybody's standing. End of the third quarter. Florida State leads 21-17. reason he's coming is because he paid the price from last Saturday all the way to this Saturday getting four treatments a day some of them late at night getting up early in the morning obviously he's maybe 70 50 60 70 percent when we saw him Thursday I said no way yep. he was like less than 50 percent but there was a guy that was ready for his teammates and he's coming through Fred Hoover the head trainer Clemson said we'll have to wait and see maybe he'll put a miracle off on Saturday Ooh. Priester Crushed in the backfield by Tony Bryant as we check in with John Saunders. And for the second consecutive week, the Burger King, Burger, Burger King play of the day involves Iowa's Tavian Banks. 82 yards on this carry, 131 yards on the day on 19 carries, four touchdowns. He has 10 rushing touchdowns on the season, 648 yards on the season thus far, rolling 56. Back to you, Brad. What a player. Don't underestimate Tavian Banks. He was Nebraska's number one recruit a few years ago. Laird to punt. High kick. Warwick waiting on it at the 10. Warwick got the corner. He might go. The punter to beat. Reverses field inside the 30. Warwick is going to score. 90 yards, touchdown. Sometimes he can't make the easy plays, but boy, can he make the big play. Can't punt the ball any better, but that was their worst punt coverage of the day. No one gets outside over here and forces them back to all the stuff. Troy Saunders got a great block to the outside. Might have been a clip towards the end of it, but no way Warwick's going to get stopped by a punter. He run through that arm tackle. Looked about like me the way I tackle. Troy Saunders comes up, gets his face in the way of a block right there, and Peter Warwick is having a Heisman day of himself. Extra point is up by Grammatica and good. And that was the fear. Remember a year ago with a 79-yard punt. This time, it's a 90-yarder. We interrupt your busy day to bring you a sigh of relief. Introducing new Ford Choice, the easiest way yet to get the most for your money. Now you can get Ford Escort with these standard features starting at just $11,695. Ford Contour with all these standard features starting at $14,995. Or Ford Taurus with these standard features starting at $18,795. It's that easy with new Ford Choice. We now return you to your regularly scheduled chaos. Men. Is gray hair sneaking up on you, right under your nose, making you look too old? Whoa, it is sneaking up on me. Up here, too. You need Just For Men gel, made for the hard-to-color gray of mustaches and sideburns. Simply brush in this no-drip gel, and in five minutes, rinse. Gray's gone. Your mustache and sideburns blend perfectly with your natural hair color. That gray won't sneak up on me again. Just For Men gel, the sure thing for a natural look. With Liberty Mutual's home insurance, you get over 500 safety wow. tips. Carnothorus sapetus. Like planting prickly bushes under windows. That's one mean bush. And other theft protection tips like deadbolt locks. That's the freedom of Liberty. Liberty Mutual. Presenting the Valvoline Big Play Rebate and Sweepstakes. Save $4 on a case of Valvoline Motor Oil, and you could win one of six Mark Martin signature Ford Thunderbirds. Here comes Mark now. He's up and right on the money. 
Valvoline, the number one choice of top mechanics. Big game coming up. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame are on the hot seat. They need a win when they meet Michigan next Saturday. Peter Warwick, almost 300 yards of Florida State's package today. Here's the last one. 90 on a punt return, weaving his way through traffic and then turning on the speed. And you add that to what he's done receiving today, and it's been quite a show. Yeah. He's one of those guys, two-time high school state champion, played high school quarterback, just a tremendous athlete. Waited his turn, didn't want to get redshirted in 1995. He and Randy Moss were supposed to be the receivers of the future. Moss transfers. Warwick, unfortunately for Clemson, didn't. <laughs> you knew where I was going with that, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> Janikowski to kick. There's the big fella, and that's Tony Horn. Oh, he'd love to return the favor with a big kick return. But he's not going to have, have a, chance. a chance. I don't think so. Almost out of the end zone again. So it's going to be Clemson from the 20. This and kid's got uh, some kind of leg. Yeah, and that just takes the, just all out of you. You get a, you play great offense, you play great defense. One third and short, they stop you, and all of a sudden they put seven points the other way on the board. Let's check in with Dino on the sideline. Well, another player's out, guys. Free safety, number 12, DeMarco Fox, is out of the ball game. Trainer told me he was knocked silly. Which made me think, Gary, if you and I had ever been tested for a silly <laughs> right. test, we may have never right. had a career. Still, which, still. Which I really didn't anyway. You know what I think they ought to do, Dino? What's that? Put Peter Warwick back there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's done everything else. First down and down, Neilon Green's got to work from down 11 and in some trouble. And probably a holding call to boot here. Flags fly in. As Neilon Green is working from the shotgun and gets up, as you see, favoring that injured foot well it's like shark smelling blood right now with this pass rush watch wadsworth come inside on a stunt this time if raymond priester doesn't make the block big 85 is going to block the quarterback priester comes across and pushes him by but there's nothing he can do holding on the outside that time i think it was jerry johnson was held but the pass rush now might be too much for clemson they declined the penalty because they came up with a five-yard loss anyway, so they'll just leave it down alone. I'll tell you what, if you would have got that sack, they might be running over Mickey Andrews and sacking him if they take a sack <laughs> away with a penalty. <laughs> they want their stats. That's right. We're under 13 minutes. Clemson has an improved passing game, but it's not to the level to play when they're behind against this type of team. Again, Florida State, 10 guys up close. It looks like both the left tackle and the defense move almost simultaneously. We'll see if it's going to be called on Butler, the tackle, looked like he came out of his stance. I thought Roland Seymour that time came into the neutral zone first, and then the tackle moved. You're right. Jeez, I'm having a good game. I really, really are. Not as good really as Peter Ward, but I'm really having a pretty good game. Hey, that foot out of the end zone thing, that set you up for, for a week or so. <laughs> is it? Yeah, your job is safe for yeah, a week. 56 just jumped out on me. <laughs> I can go another week. There goes another injured player, too. It's Corey Simon, now, defensive tackle. Now, you might be worried, but Florida State has, like, five guys behind them that are just waiting for Corey Simon to go down so they can show everybody how good they are. So that takes it back to the original line of scrimmage. So it's second and ten. Again, Green in the gun. Fire is complete to Watts. First down, Clemson across the 35. And he got about 17. Devin Smith a little bit slow to get up after making the hit. They tried the same stunt to the outside. This time, the offensive line for Clemson handled it. That gave Green time to throw, and Watts came up with it. And you can tell this 90-degree heat is having its effect on everyone on this team field. This time, Shevin Smith gets beat, and he's got the, the old leg cramps there. And, of course, both guys took the brunt of that hit, as you saw Watts coming out shaken up after the hit by Smith and Smith still down with 1232 remaining in the ball game and it's been a dandy of a game Clemson started things off Brandon Streeter started the game at quarterback and he takes it in from 32 yards out for the first score of the ball game and then a high snap over his head he tried to get it Priester tried to get it. The guy that got it was number one, Sam Powered in the end zone with a fumble recovery. That was Florida State's first touchdown. And then Busby hooking up with his 
long-range pen pal, Peter Warwick. One of his acrobatic catches today. And then Warwick, just a few minutes ago, took this punt, a 52-yard punt, took it at the 10, and then said, see ya. Yeah, you remember, Brad, when we were talking to Tommy West, he said, instead of getting 50-yard punts, I'd settle for 35-yard punts straight up in the air With and no force, him, force him to fair catch. He really outkicked the coverage, and the better athlete won. And I'll tell you, you just put, if you want to do a highlight package, just follow that guy around today because whether he's fumbling, dropping passes, or making touchdowns, it's been all him. Yep. Shevin Smith being helped off. And meanwhile, after that catch by Watts, who took the big hit from Smith, he's shaken up. He's on the Clemson bench, and I, they've got a first down. I just hope Dino's okay. <laughs> Do you know you're all right down there, man? Hey, I'm doing fine. I'm cramping up, just running from sideline to sideline, checking on cramps. All right. You know, we got 30 down now. We got Simon down now. They said they had more cramps last week at home against Maryland where the field temperature was around 115 degrees. <laughs> Quick slant broken up. And a penalty marker. That That's going to be on Troy Saunders. Yeah. That's all right. I think they'll live with that one. They like that type of play coming from the secondary. Every time I say something about interference on Saunders, I know John's in New York thinking I'm talking about it. Are you going to do a highlight? <laughs> he throws his tie on real quick and gets ready to go, right? You don't and he says, on me? Yeah. You don't suppose he's got one of those clip-ons, do you? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Pass interference, defense, penalty at the spot of the foul, first down. So first down. By penalty, 11-point game with 12-10 remaining on the, Death Valley. One of the college rules that I don't like, an interference that happens 45 yards downfield, they bring it back and give them 15 yards. An interference on a one-yard pass, they give you one yard. Yep. You could still get a 15-yard penalty. That play might have popped for 40 yards. you got to call Dave Perry Monday. Oh, yeah, he loves me. Yeah, I know he does. From the gun, green middle is Horn, and he's in a head-on collision with Dexter Jackson and Troy Saunders again. And he held on to it. And Tony Horn's closing in on a 100-yard day as a receiver. Well, Tommy Weiss said, I'd be disappointed if my offensive line doesn't at least stand up and fight the battle. Man, I think they have. The pressure has been coming, but in its tough circumstances, if you take away the fumbled punt and the fumbled snap over their head, I mean, those are two big touchdowns by Florida State, but this offensive line for Clemson has hung in there all day. Second down and a matter of inches here. They stay at a four wide out look. All 11 guys are in your picture right there. There's nobody back. And now there's motion again on that left side between the left tackle of Clemson and Roland Seymour, who jumped in early the last time. This one, I think, might go the other way. Dead ball, false start, offense. Matt Butler and Roland Seymour going at it over on that side. This one's against the offense, so Seymour knew what he was doing. Play comes in from the bench. Marcus Martin brings it in. And Elon Green will have a second down in the long five. the 45. Clemson again with a four wide out group. Aaron, their bear look again. They're going to come. Quick one over the middle of the horn. He's got the first down. Tony Horn now 98 yards on eight catches. Well, as Dean told us, Stock still said, let's go to Horn. And Horn is who they go to. And Tony Horn is showing that he's willing to pay the price across the middle. And you know what's going to happen, Brad? He's going to fake across the middle, and he's going to go deep. He's had 13 balls thrown to him in this game. He's been hit after the eight that he's caught. <laughs> That's what you call blowing your own horn, I guess. Yep, I think they have, but they're going to go deep before we know it here. First down at the 47. Is this the time? Down the middle to Horn again. Tony Horn inside the 20. Well, this time, instead of doing the slant, he faked the slant and went deep. You can almost see the thinking of the offensive coordinator. You got a young safety back in there as Florida State starts to rotate their secondary people. But hey, you throw the ball in front of you, we're going to go by you. It's just like basketball. One time I shoot the three, the no. next time I drive to the basket. Horn says, is it a slant? Nope, I'm going deep this time. 
third straight 100-plus receiving game, a school record just tied by Tony Horn with that catch. 128 on nine grabs today. You know why Nelon Green's in the shotgun is because he can't move. Going to move a little bit before he throws this one to the end zone. Walker, touchdown! In the end zone, it's 28-23. Now do you go for two here? Uh, I don't, but the side judge this time would like them to take a timeout. Dan Hogue, the sideline judge, is going to catch the cannon right in the oh. face that time. Oh. <laughs> he took a shot on that one. Our side judge is cannon fodder. You got it. I'll tell you what I would if you don't make it, then Florida State can put the game away with a field goal. I kicked the extra point. <laughs> wow. That's what going a drive. the extra mile. Huh? What a drive. Nelon Green, you can't give a guy more credit than that. Florida State is forced to take their last time out. Scoring drive. A 17-yard touchdown pass to Brian Wofford has put Clemson within five with 10-11 to go. It's not the first time I thought about coming back. For years, I've imagined myself out there with today's greatest players. Name it. Hitting right. right. Perfectly in stride. Name it. Somehow finding Barry Sanders in the crowd. Name it. Looking for Deion Sanders. His record 80 TD passes today. Three great players in all Zoom Airwares. Any other football fantasies? No, no, he's our man. He can do it. No, no, just really those three. Go, go, go. Long ago, an inventor came up with the assembly line, allowing a few people to make a lot of something. It was the model for efficiency. At Chili's, we pride ourselves for our inefficiency because we make each of the Big Mouth burgers by hand, grilled one at a time by a person. And when you taste for yourself how good they are, you'll appreciate all the time we've wasted. Chili's Fresh Grilled Big Mouth Burgers, monuments of inefficiency. This is the Triton-powered Ford F-150. And this is a 102,000-pound earth mover. Now that's what we call taking the bulldozer by the horns. Ford F-Series, built Ford tough. Ten minutes, 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and Clemson about to go for a two-point conversion. They will go for two and try to make this a three-point game. Florida State used their last timeout. Four wide outs for Elon Green, who looks like he's going to come up under center here. And Priester is behind him. Watch him run the option. Elon Green having a long look at that Florida State front. He's calling it at the line of scrimmage. There's the option. There's Priester. There's two points. There may be a penalty marker in the end zone. I believe there is. Illegal participation, 12 on the defense, declined the points of view. Raymond Priester, he didn't mind whether there was 11 or 12. That's why Green had a such time calling the play. There were 12 guys out there. Ford lately? 
The aluminum in your car radiator is as thin as this sheet, and it's the only thing between you and a breakdown. But Prestone Antifreeze bonds with aluminum, forming a zone of protection against corrosion and temperature extremes. Protect your car in the Prestone Zone. Sweet basil, parsley, and garlic baked right into the dough. That's Domino's zesty new pesto crust pizza. Try it or any large one-topping pizza for $9.99 and get a second one-topping for $5.99. Domino's hot brown now. Before planning your next getaway, call Thrifty Car Rental at 1-800-4-CARS. We're right in your neighborhood with great rates on great cars. For a limited time, rent a compact car for only $29.95 a day. But at that price, they're going fast. So call Thrifty now at 1-800-4-CARS or your professional travel agent. It's quick, it's easy, and best of all, it's Thrifty. ABC Sports presentation of college football brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? Dean Witter. There are many ways to measure success. Dean Witter measures success one investor at a time by Valvoline, the number one choice of America's top mechanics. People who know use Valvoline. And Domino's Pizza, who brings you their newest crust sensation, Pesto Crust. Brad Nessler, Gary Danielson, Dean Blevins, and about 82,000 of our close friends in Death Valley. Priester has just scored on a two-point conversion, and we've got a field goal ball game with 10-10 remaining on Memorial Stadium. I number 15 playing number five, tooth and nail. I think Clemson's safe. I don't think Peter Warwick is back there. <laughs> They've got Stringer and Coles back there. There they are. Right now, David Richardson would like to knock it right into the student section. He almost did. And Florida State will have to start from the corner. Good job on the kick. There's almost 82,000 people in this facility. I don't know anybody that's sitting except the tuba guys in the Florida right. State band. Well, they, they can't got stand. They got an excuse, right? Yeah. And here comes the noise for the Tiger defense. Still a long way to go, over 10 minutes. They're rocking the valley. Play action. Wants it all on one play for Green. Incomplete. Good coverage back there by Michael Allen. Brad, Dino told us that Marco Fox is out. That means his backup is Chad Speck, a true freshman on the field in this big game. Number 31 is going to play free safety. And he is not the hitter or the athlete that the Marco Fox is yet. Hasn't gone through the cat program. That's, That's right. right. He's still earning his pause. Right. On the other side for the Seminoles, remember Dean Feaster, bruised ribs. And that takes a threat away from the Knowles. Second and ten. Busby. Got a man out there. And it's who else? Warwick down the sideline. Warwick takes it. Touchdown. 80 yards. I'm absolutely dumbfounded. I have never seen so much air go out of such a big orange balloon in my life. I'll tell you how much, how dumbfounded we are. Everybody grabbed their media guides from Florida State. A mistake in the secondary that time to the outside. I think it was Michael Allen stopped one second to the outside. Number 10. The ball, that was the hardest ball Busby threw all game. And there's no way Antoine Edwards or Chad Speck is going to catch him. Dramatic is pulled after. Follows just another dramatic performance by that guy. 249 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Yeah, and that doesn't count 
a 90-yard TD on a punt. On top of that, I wonder what his all-purpose yards are in this game. He's at kickoff yard. I think it's about uh, 372, I'm guessing. Yeah, 372 all-purpose yards of busting the coverage, I think. And then it's a foot race, and you're not going to win it against number nine, I'm afraid. And how's the quarterback feel? Yeah, I'll take it. I threw it about 15, and he did the rest. But he threw it like a bullet that time. Yeah, he didn't lob it. He got it to him quickly. And Peter Warwick is not going to need a jet to fly home after this one. <laughs> Unless he's so tired, he never leaves Clemson. Wow. He's already the number three receiving game all time in Florida State history. Ron Sellers, who holds most of the single game receiving records, is the guy that he still may pass before this one's over. Well, why not? Right? And the guy has made acrobatic catch after acrobatic catch. Remember he had a fumble on a, ki a kickoff or was it a punt? I don't know. It's been so long ago. <laughs> it was a punt return. Yeah. And Clemson turned that into a field goal, but... Uh, he had the drop pass on that one where it was wide, wide open. open. Mm -hmm. He's just been all over the highlight. He's going to have to have an extra 30 minutes of Sports Center this week. <laughs> to Janikowski to kick. Unless he misses it, it probably won't be returned. It is returnable, maybe. Tony Horn, two yards deep. Tony Horn and Tony Horn into the secondary now. How many big plays can one game have? Dexter Jackson saved a touchdown. 77 yards for Tony Horn. This is like McEnroe versus Bork. Warwick versus Horn. It's a tennis match out here. My serve now. Tony Horn gets the ball back and he said, uh-uh, no kicker going to stop me. And the ball in the field gets turned upside down the other way. What a football game. The ACC has seen nothing like this. And Janikowski got a piece of him. And then right there, Jackson saved the touchdown, but it's first and 10. Clemson at the 23-yard line of Florida State. 9-29 left in the fourth quarter. Florida State by 10. Clemson trying to change that right here. And again, the left tackle came out of his stance. Matt Butler. Remember, they're using a silent count. And if the defensive players flinch, you're looking at him. You don't even hear the snap count. Dead ball, false start, offense. Matt Butler's had his hands full over there, working against Seymour most of the day. Seventh Clemson penalty, five of them that have been on the offense. They got to get that guy a quick breather and get him back out there. Tony <laughs> Horn. Already he's had his best yardage day as a receiver and just took a kickoff 77 yards. Clemson's going almost exclusively shotgun because Neilon Green can't move. Green pressure from the backside, throws a dart, almost caught, and then almost intercepted. Rod Gardner got his left hand on it. Neilon Green is showing that he can throw the ball with Florida State today. It's about a 35-yard strike that was just painting the black on the plate. Gardner just got his hand on it, and Cody, Tay Cody, almost came up with a deflection. If you're just joining us, you missed it. Shame on you. <laughs> 9:23 left. It's 35-25 Florida State. Tony Horns back in there. Penalty markers down, incomplete on the pass, and Neilon Green down. I think Wadsworth is offside this time. He beat the snap count, and I'm sure of it. I'll bet your paycheck on this one, Brad. Thanks for using my <laughs> chips. <laughs> you play great with my chips. <laughs> so they'll walk it back. So it's going to be second you know, down. And they're back to where Horn can play. He's That's got enough right. rest. They had 1-5 the other way, 1-5 this way, and Horn will be in there now.
Nelon Green playing on a bad foot and playing gutsy football. At the 23, the original out of scrimmage, second down and 10. Nelon Green throws outside. That one skipped off his hand. Sam Cowart was waiting there covering. It's incomplete. 